Hello, everybody. Today we are going to talk about problem solving with trigonometry. Okay, so we're going to get some story problems here today, and uh, we're going to use trig to solve them. <clears throat> so, let's start off with this first problem here. A ship is off the coast of Oregon's Tillamook Rock Lighthouse uh, near Seaside. This lighthouse is 133 feet above the ocean. So if you look here, here's a picture of the lighthouse. Um, this height from the water to the top of the lighthouse is 133 feet. The angle of inclination from the ship to the top of the lighthouse is 8 degrees. Okay, so angle of inclination is when you're looking horizontally at something and then you make an angle up to the top of something. That's your angle of inclination. If you go the other way, if you're looking at something level and you're looking down, that's called the angle of declination. Okay, so this is an 8 degree angle. You want to know how far away is that lighthouse. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, we are wanting, or we know the side opposite. We want to know the side adjacent. And remember from Sokotoa that opposite and adjacent tells you you're going to use tangent. So this is a tangent problem. Tangent of 8 degrees is going to equal the opposite which is 133 over the adjacent. So I'm going to multiply both sides by x. And then I'm going to divide by tangent of 8 degrees. All right, and then that's going to tell me how far away I am. So let's see, once more I want to make sure I'm in degrees, and I am. So 133 divided by tangent of 8 degrees is going to be 946. Uh, 0.3, so, and that's going to be in feet. So there we go. All right, so hopefully you don't have a problem with that one. Okay, an Earth observatory identifies an object in space. The angle from the object to the sun to the Earth is 90 degrees. The angle formed from the sun to the Earth to the object is 89.5 degrees. The Earth is known to be 93 million miles away from the sun. How far away is the object? Okay, so what we should probably do first is sketch a picture of this. So, with this situation, it said um, the angle from the, from the object to the sun to the earth so is 90 degrees so object sun earth and that's 90 degrees and then it tells me that um put that in there like that okay then it tells me that the angle formed from the sun to the earth to the object is 89.5 Okay, this makes it much, much easier to solve the problem. It also tells me that the distance from the sun to the earth is 93 million miles. Okay, so there's 93 million. Okay, and we want to find oops, the distance to the object from the earth. Okay, so here's our... Uh, our reference angle. This is the hypotenuse. This is the side adjacent. So if we go back to Sokotoa, all right, the adjacent and hypotenuse tell me I'm going to use cosine to solve this problem. So the cosine of 89.5 degrees is going to equal the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And once it's set up, it's easy to solve these things. So I'm going to multiply both sides by x to get cosine off the bottom. Oops, that's supposed to be 93 million. And then I'm going to divide both sides by cosine of 89.5. Okay, so x is going to equal 93 
million. Make sure you get that in your calculator, right? Divided by cosine of 89.5. Close the parentheses. Ooh, and I get this huge number. 1.0657. says E10. Okay, remember that means times 10 to the 10th power. So I'm going to move my decimal 10 places. Uh, that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Just add a 0 because the calculator doesn't go that far. Okay, so that's about uh, 10,657,150,250 miles. Pretty far away. Okay. A telephone pole is damaged in a storm, and it needs a guy wire to keep it standing straight. So basically what a guy wire is going to be is uh, they might do this temporarily until they can replace the pole. So if this thing's damaged, what they'll do is they'll take a wire from here down to the ground like this. Okay, this will be a 90-degree angle right there. And the pole is 45 feet tall, so we'll just go ahead and put a 45 foot right there. And the angle of inclination to the top of the pole is 65 degrees, so this angle right here is 65 degrees. And how long must the guy wire be? That's going to be over here. Okay, so on this one, if we write down our SOKATOA. All right, so this is my reference angle. This is the opposite, and that's the hypotenuse. That's telling me we're using sine to solve this problem. So the sine of 65 degrees is going to equal the opposite over the hypotenuse. And again, since it's in the denominator, I'm going to multiply both sides by x. And I'm going to divide by the sine of 65 to get that thing on the bottom get x by itself. Okay, so 45 divided by sine of 65. 49.65. Now, you're not going to cut a piece of wire that's 49.65 feet. It's obviously going to be longer than that because if you cut it there, you're just not going to have anything to tie or attach at the bottom. But you know that's your minimum height or your minimum length right there. Okay, the U.S. Bank Tower in Portland is 536 feet tall. You're standing at a spot level with the top of the building. So up here at the uh, Portland Rose Garden, you're almost right level with the top of the building. Um, the angle of declination to the bottom of the tower is 15 degrees. How far from the tower are you? So essentially, here's the situation. This is uh, you right here. You're level with this. This angle to the bottom of the tower is 15 degrees. Okay, and you want to know how far away from the tower you are, and you know that this is 536 feet right here. You know this probably all stand out better if we make it all a nice bright yellow. Okay, there we go. So, uh, here's what I'm going to let you do. I'm going to let you pause the video right here and uh, figure this problem out and then jump back on and see how you did. Okay, so uh, again, we go back to Sokatoa. Okay, this is the side opposite. This is the side adjacent. We're using tangent on this problem, hopefully. Hopefully you do. So the tangent of 15 degrees should equal the side opposite divided by the hypotenuse. Looks like all these, we got the x on the bottom here. So we get to multiply both sides by x and then divide by the tangent of 15. 
So 536 divided by tangent of 15 degrees, that's 2,000, almost exactly. So you're 2,000 feet away from the tower. So what about not quite half a mile? Okay, what fun that is. All right, given triangle ABC with side AB equal to 725 feet and side AC equal to 2,800 feet, find the measure of angle A. Okay, so this one, we know the sides, we're going to find the angles instead. So here we go. Uh, which sides do we have? Well, this is our reference angle right here. So this would be the side adjacent. This is the hypotenuse. So remember from Sokotoa. That tells us adjacent hypotenuse, we're using cosine. Okay, so cosine, oops, cosine of x degrees is going to equal the adjacent, which is 725, over the hypotenuse, which is 2800. Okay, and in order to get rid of this cosine, I'm going to arc cosine uh, both sides of this. Okay, so these will go away, they will cancel, x is going to be, so we're going to go second cosine, 725 divided by 2800, close the parentheses, 74.99, so we're going to say it's approximately 75 uh, degrees. Okay. So you got to be able to go both ways. you got to be able to know the sides and find the angle, or know the angle on a side and find the other side. All right, there's a little assignment for you to work on. I hope you enjoy that. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.